host of Chartrand. I'm joined by artist Chris Bueller, who will be a part of our Shanty program this year. A little bit first time artist at the Shanties. We're so excited to have you and to talk today about some of your work. Before we dive into this, which I know our viewers are going to be so fascinated by this process, I want to talk a little bit, Chris, about your background. We were saying off camera that, first of all, you're growing up, you always had an interest in then culinary school, and that that really gave you a lot of hands on experience with colors, texture, form. Am I, am I on the right track here? Yes, well, first of all, thanks for having me here, Melissa. Um, I'm glad to be part of the Shanty program this summer. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah. I, hear, I hear great things about it, and uh, I'll be glad to uh, share my art with, uh, with everybody. And, you know, starting out, uh, I grew up in Grafton, and uh, our family didn't have lots of money, so we did a lot of arts and crafts. Just, you know, we're always outside. I love nature. We're always using our hands to make things, and... Uh, you know, I just, and I loved, I loved art, I loved creating, and I went to culinary school uh, after high school, and I learned a lot there, and I learned about ice carvings, and I uh, worked in Garde Marger, and we did a lot of uh, fruit carvings and stuff with vegetables, and it, it, it was quite a lot of fun. I love art. I have to do it, and I worked uh, at auction houses on Cape Cod, and helping set up with that and looking at all the old antiques and there's some really great art there when, when people didn't have the tools we have sure. now to create. And uh, I just love art. Sure, and creating, and as you say, um, the, the, the love of arts and the need to create. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, some people just want to do it for the money, but I have to do it. I, I, I have these ideas and I have to, to put them out there on something. and. I came up, I, I paint rugs on floors, uh, which are unique, and I had to come up with a design uh, unique to Cape Cod, and I came up with a crab design. And that's what we have on your shirt here, which Don't I love. Right, right it's here, the yes. cape, and it's the other side of the claw. And color, I mean, this beautiful bright red, but you also have a natural gift for colors. Yes, I, I, I do, and I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I'll blame it on God. but. Uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, have a certain green, and, and some greens have red in them, and gold in them, and black in them, and, and just, and I can pick those colors out. And so oh, I have a knack for that, and I help out decorators uh, when they need to pick out a color out of a fabric, you know, that's on the uh, bed or the uh, the shades or curtains or anything like that. And uh, it's very helpful to them. Wonderful. And, and I do faux finishes along with that to help out the rooms. Excellent. But let's now talk about Crab's Cape Cod. Again, your image that is the cape uh, that makes off the other claw of the crab. And you, um, we're going to talk briefly about the process here. And of course, we're going to encourage our viewers to come see you down at the shanties and find you I hope so. on your <laughs> website as well, crabscapecod.com. But what I find fascinating about these is that you're using pebbles. Correct? Uh, some pebbles some and some pebbles of the art uh, that I that have. That you get, that are Cape Cod. You go right. to the beach, you pick them, you have a whole system Walking to do it. Walking my dogs uh, and, and out in these uh, uh, sand pits and all that stuff. And I, I sift the pebbles in different little sizes. And I make uh, animal silhouettes and uh, all, all kinds of silhouettes. So if you have a certain dog, I can make that. Uh, uh, here, I'm making something with a, um, uh, a mixture of paint, glue, plaster powder, and I start out by making uh, the crab design, and I put that uh, powder and paint and everything mixture on there, and then I go over the bright color with a, a, a more of an earth tone color, and I put some black specks in there, and then I take some paint to, to fine, fine tune the crab a little bit, and then I, I take this and, uh, you know, with a few coats of white, and then I frame it. And it comes out very nice. It looks like, uh, like it. remember projects back in the day, the paper machine, the maps you had to make. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Big, I'd huge boards you'd bring in. I know, <laughs> people, he was like this. I showed this to one guy, and he, I didn't know he was a pilot, and he said, it looks like I'm, you know, 3,000 feet in the air. Yeah. I was like, hey, you're right. Yeah, so I, cool. I call that my land crab. Land crab, all right. And then we have these interesting uh, mats here. I'll start out with a, uh, this has tape on so the back. So you went from so carving on. ice and apples to carving crabs. Carving uh, rubber and carving the crab, and have it say crab crabscapecod.com on here, but I can block that off and just have the crab. And of course, uh, you know, you have all those fun sayings like crabby day or <laughs> pinch me or whatever you want on the, you can put whatever you want, I'll hand, I'll hand paint it on there for you. And I just uh, roll the paint on here and stamp it on the uh, t-shirt as I did here, paint it a couple colors, put whatever you want underneath it. This is for the Barnstable, Barnstable uh, girls basketball team. Uh, so I took this up to uh, the main uh, tournament up there and 
people were, were happy. And I make my own stamps as well. Right. And you uh, do with using the these stamps. Forms. Sure. I didn't interrupt you, but That's we use these for, um, you make t-shirts, but you also, again, have art that uh, for posters and prints and cards. Yeah. So it's really a variety yes. of uh, products. I have smaller ones, more fine-tuned, sure. where here's a mold here for the... Uh, for the rubber that I'll make, it says uh, cute and crabby on here. Put it that way, that you can see the me. cute and crabby. <laughs> and I have that, it's, it's the most popular t-shirt because people are buying the, uh, the t-shirts for their little kids. And here's uh, another mold for a larger one with a fine, more fine line sure. to it there, what I need. And, and what that, are these? And these are also, I make these stamps there like not crabby. Oh, the yellow fell off, the uh, Y fell off. But not crabby and I'll stamp that on there or uh, holy crab. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're you just must having have fun. fun. Do, these, do these come to you in the middle of the night? Well, you know, I do have a lot of help. I ask people, uh, you have any ideas? And uh, some, a lot of, of, fun. some of them maybe of I fun. won't use, but there's a lot that I will. Sure, <laughs> sure. Well, Chris, thank you so much for sharing this with us today. And again, to our viewers, you can find Chris in the shanty. So we have you there. You're a couple of weekends, a couple of weeks throughout the season. You can get all the information on Chris and all the artists participating in the program by going online to highartsdistrict.com and or artsbarnstable.com. To get a hold of Chris directly, you can go right to crabscapecod.com. Yes. For Chris Bueller, I'm Melissa Chartrand, wishing you an artful day. Mm -hmm.